So what challenges do people face when living and working in Gulf countries? Hello besties, welcome back to my channel. My name is Josephine. For the returning subscribers, thank you for always coming back and supporting me. And for the new subscribers, welcome to the family. And guys, I really wanted to thank you because you have really been supportive on this journey. 100 subscribers within one month, guys, I really appreciate. So today I want to talk about the challenges that we go through while working and living abroad and uh, Gulf countries to be specific. I'm currently living in Saudi Arabia for the last two years, three months, and I thank God everything has been okay. I cannot say that uh, it, I haven't been facing challenges. Yes, I have, but I thank God that the challenges did not put me down. But uh, every time I went through challenges, God came through and I was left stronger. So today, without uh, further ado, let me just rest a few of the challenges that we face through. And if you are living in Gulf countries, you will concur with me that these are the most challenges that all of us go through here. And the first thing is loneliness or rather let me call it depression. But um, a good word for it is loneliness. And why do we face loneliness is because most of the time, you are alone, like you are in a house full of people, but in most cases you find yourself just alone. You doing your things alone, like you are eating, you are there, you and your food and bus. If you are working, you are there building your forever in your minds and thinking about yourself, thinking about your life. And yes, when you go, when you like, you finish your work, you go to your room, and maybe you have internet years or you don't have internet because most of the people here you find that you, you are not given uh the wi-fi so you find yourself like getting so lonely and at some point you get depressed and um many people find themselves in a situation where you feel like you are discriminated yes you feel discriminated because when these people are together, like maybe you are in a family where you are six people in the house and you are the seventh person, or you are three people in the house and you are the third person, and these two people are sitting around and talking about themselves, planning their lives, and doing their stuff together, and you are alone, doing your stuff alone, you just feel like you are discriminated. Like, you just feel like you doesn't deserve to be there. I, mean, I don't seem to know how to put this point into consideration, but you just feel like you doesn't belong there. When, like, on weekends, that is mostly on Thursdays and Fridays, and uh, most of families on Saturdays, you find them that they are all their family members, the extended family, and, like, friends, they are all together. They are eating, they are talking and they are laughing and you are there like oh my god what is this you just feel like why the discrimination you okay you feel the discrimination but they may not be like discriminating you but on your perspective you feel you're discriminated so i guess most people will conquer with that and uh, the third thing that uh, we face is overworking guys in these places we work if <laughs> we work guys like working mm -mm. you may find yourself uh, working in a house where there is three floors four floors and you are wrong you are to clean the house you are to cook you are to if there is student you are going to take care of them yeah you wake up at eight you work until maybe past midnight or late midnight at the end of the day, my friend, you feel like you're giving up. But everyone who is in Gulf, we have a code. There is no giving up until you have uh, achieved what brought you here. Yes, in some time, any in some situations, yes, we give up because some uh, situations push you, push you away. <laughs> some situations they push you to the wall and. You feel like, no, no, this one, even if I want to work, it's not good for my health. So you just decide to quit 
and uh, try something else because like me i told you i am working at like a business cleaner or house to house so i can change as many houses uh, as i want so so at some point guys it's really hard that you you give up yes we do give up and um, the third thing is lack of food hmm? yeah you can even go a whole day without eating any anything and by the way no one cares because after all you are just a housemaid i don't know if like housemaid doesn't deserve to eat or something but you just find yourself that uh you just find yourself in a situation where you don't have anything to eat and uh, you just have like strong tea and uh, there is a uh, bread arabic bread and there is cheese so most of the people in gulf you find yourself that is the food that you're eating from breakfast lunch and even dinner and maybe if there is some change of food you have white rice sometimes it's really boring but as long as you know what brought you here and as long as like you want to fight because i always say that there is no place that life is easy no we just try ourselves hand you try harder to maneuver in every situation because life gives you challenges that i guess sometimes it's so unfair life is so unfair to us but we can never judge so we just move on with whatever lives bring to us and um the fifth uh, challenge that most of us go through especially those people working as uh, business cleaners or house to house managers or cleaners is traveling guys we really travel a lot we travel like uh, i've been to many so many places and like yesterday we this video i'm shooting on thursday and yesterday on wednesday i traveled from a far place to here and the big girl is so tired i even just forced myself to shoot a video i wasn't feeling really good but for you guys i had to drop something for you so traveling is uh, one issue that we um, is a challenge that we face and especially when you have a lot of luggages some of us have even four bags traveling bags and uh, just imagine traveling with those bags everywhere you're going it's really hectic and uh, we find it a challenge yeah a very big challenge and um, yeah i guess that those are the biggest challenges that we face and the first one is discrimination loneliness lack of food depletion is like depression and loneliness i guess it's one and the same thing and then overworking and then uh, for us we we like we travel a lot it's a challenge for us maybe for those people that came uh, as direct direct cleaner uh, direct workers they doesn't fit the challenge but for us we really feel the challenge and guys that's all for today's video please remember to subscribe like share and please leave a sweet comment down below and uh again i want to appreciate and uh thank you for your support 100 subscribers i'm really grateful your girl is extremely happy and uh i believe that by the end of march we'll be at 200 subscribers for now now hugs and kisses from your girl bye, -bye.